All right, this is the other side of the injection bump. Off the truck, 22 millimeter nut holds this on. Steering wheel puller, we'll pull it off, no problem. Three bolts hold it on around the outside, as I showed you before. Offset wrench will get in there and take him off with way less hassle than what I dealt with the first time I done this. But that side cover right there is the one that was leaking. And this is the O-ring they sent. Now when it goes on, originally it fits good and tight. It looks like a regular old O-ring. Well, here's the deal. And all of them may be like that, but I'm going to replace it and I'm going to put an actual O-ring in there. It looks like it's something that's been pinched off. It's squared out. No bueno. Come on now. Focus on you hunk of shit. See what I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. No good. So I'm going to get an actual just regular old black o-ring put it in there a little thick that way i know it's sealed up this is the top hat that's that seal that's in there that'll leak this right here breaks loose by those four screws on the outside there and this whole thing comes off a bunch of itty bitty little parts inside there so uh if you don't know what you're doing i'd recommend you don't bother with it and this seal is the one they're talking about if you run too much pressure it'll blow out Mine's brand new and it fits real tight and I've run 20 PSI and everything's been fine with that upgraded fuel pump. This is the view that you get from the outside of the truck. There's a KBC down there. The manual shut off, throttle lever. This is block side. If you got a leak and you can't see where it's coming from and it's running down the back of the block, 90% of the time it's going to be that guy right there.